Hey guys, happy Saturday, and I know I've been kind of MIA, but I've been working so freaking hard on this 3D coloring book. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video to celebrate the release of it. I'll be making a much more in-depth and well-edited vi video later, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly what it is, how it works, how you can implement it into, say, your practicing workflow or your studies, and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to make this a quick video for you guys. So when you go to courses.stylizedstation.com, you'll see I've got the premium version and the free version. So if you want to check it out and try it out for yourself, you can grab the free version. You can see I've got um, several assets here that are ready to go. Uh, but after I release the paid version, I'm going to turn it into a drip content. So basically you sign up week one, you get a bunch of assets. Week two, you get some more assets. Week three, week four, etc. So let's go to the paid version anyway. When you get to the sales page, I explain exactly what the 3D colors, 3D artist coloring book is, which is essentially a project just aimed at creating a, a massive library of assets that anyone from beginners to intermediate artists can use to practice, sharpen their skills, transform their skills, to take them to the next level. Now I'm focusing mainly in Substance Painter but I'm providing the assets, the .obj files, the texture files, normal, normal maps, everything for you. So you can do this really in any texturing software. So if you don't specialize in Substance Painter, which I recommend you do, but if you don't and you like using, say, Blender or 3D Coat or 3D Coat, um, you can do that. You just upload or just import the OBJ, connect the normal maps, bake it, you're done, right? So basically I created this because how do I explain this? Texturing is my favorite part of the modeling and digital art process, but there are a lot of things that have to happen beforehand. You have to create the concept art. You have to block out your model. You have to do your low poly model. Then you have to do your high poly. You have to prepare it for high poly, then re retopology, UV unwrapping, and then baking, importing. All of this, especially with more complicated assets, can take hours if not days right and if you are someone who's just interested in texturing it's it's almost like you have to practice for months just to get to the point where you can create good enough models that you can then start mastering texturing and this is a this is an a hole in the pipeline that i've noticed and i've really wanted to address for people that are more interested in just being able to isolate a specific part in the pipeline that is texturing. So what I've done is I'm creating the library of assets that are already done and they're already good to go. So if you want to practice your texturing, you can just open up the file and that's it. You're ready. You don't have to master modeling. You don't have to master retopology. If you don't have time in the day or you're a busy person, it's perfect. That's it. It's absolutely perfect for you. So everything is in there. You've got your substance painter file your raw object file, sample renders, and built-in interactive references. Now I'm building these all by hand, so it takes quite a bit of time. So when you hop in, actually, let's just hop in right now. Okay, so we are in, you guys are enrolled, all that fun stuff. Now I've got a welcome page, a community survey, which I recommend you guys fill out. It really helps me figure out what you guys like, what you don't like, what you wanna see, etc. cetera. Uh, in the PBR section, everything is organized by difficulty. So. One star, very simple, very simple assets. Two stars means a little more complicated. You might have to make multiple two materials and something like three stars is a very complicated asset, which should take you a considerable amount of time. These are bigger projects uh, and much more rewarding projects to complete. So I've got everything in there for you. Everything is also organized by category. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the PBR Knight. So this is a character that I absolutely adore. And when you hop in, everything is available right off the bat. So difficulty rating, everything you need to know. If you want to up or if you want to just start texturing right away, all you have to do is click on the Substance Painter icon and it'll start downloading it. And then all we can do, we can just open it right away. That's it. This this asset is ready to texture. And that will take a second. While that's loading, I'll show you as well that we also have the live reference here once my icon disappears. While that's loading, you can see we have a live reference as well. So if you need ideas, inspiration, you want to get into the stitching and take a look at it, you can do that yourself and inspect it. So now that Substance Painter is open, you can see it's ready to go, ready to be textured. So now with this one, 
Um, I just added the textures as well, just to show you guys, but you can simply remove them just like that. And there you go, we have a blank file ready to texture right away. So you can instantly fill it, paint over it, black mask, whatever you, whatever you want, right? You can start texturing instantly. It took under 30 seconds, so that's it. Um, now we also have, I also have a ton of other ones that are going in. I think there's only about 20 in here right now, 20 to 30. But there's a lot more to come. I've got about 15, 16, maybe even 20 sitting in draft right now that I'm ready to release. And you've also got the Hand Painter's Coloring Book as well. I won't go into detail and show that yet. But basically, the Hand Painter's Coloring Book is the exact same as the PBR Coloring Book, but it contains no normal information, and it's perfect for hand painting. I've also got the workshops as well, which are going to be showing you exactly how to do things, how to get started in Substance Painter, how to make stylized skin, cloth, metals, rock, stone, whatever. But that'll be for another video. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that. Um, I'm really excited to release it. I can't wait to see you guys all in there. Um, and that's it. This has been a long a project with like a long time coming. And um, I hope it really works out. I really hope it works out. Um, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.